In these problems, we are finding what are called one-sided limits. You might already be familiar with the idea of a limit, um, the value that a function approaches as x approaches some other value. In this case, we're looking at the value that the function approaches as x approaches from either the left or from the right. Because in some functions, for example this one, you might have what's called a discontinuity where at a certain point it breaks. Um, this must be a piecewise defined function. But you can also get these kinds of discontinuities in rational functions where there are asymptotes. So there might be a value that has a, a different limit whether you approach it from the left or from the right. The notation here, in this one it says the limit as x approaches 6, and then there's that little minus sign up here. That means from the left, from the negative part of the graph. So what value is the function approaching? as x approaches 6 from this direction. Well, here is 6, x equals 6 right there, and it looks like the function is approaching that value right there. Now if you tried this limit from the other side, you'd get a very different value, this value here. So this value is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, that's 6. So the limit as uh, x approaches 6 from the left of f of x is 6. Let's try another one. Here we have another one. We want the limit as x approaches negative 8, and then there's this little plus sign. That means as it approaches from the right or from the plus side of the graph. So that is going to be this value right up here. Because as you get closer and closer to negative 8, you're getting closer and closer to that point. And that value is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and that's the limit. A couple more. Now here's slightly different. This is the graph of uh, what looks like a rational function. You can see it has a couple of asymptotes there noted by those dotted lines. And what we want to find here is the limit of the function as x approaches 5, and that's right here where this asymptote is, from the right, from the plus side of the graph. So if you're on this graph and you're approaching from this direction, what happens is you get closer and closer to 5, you start shooting up. And presumably, way up there at 5, you're going to be way up at infinity. So if it goes shooting straight up like that, that's positive infinity. If we were to find the limit uh, approaching this one from the negative side of the graph or from the left, the answer would be negative infinity because here that, that branch of the function goes down uh, to negative infinity. All right. Now this last one looks a little bit trickier because we don't have a graph. And we want the limit of this function, 7x over x minus 2, as x approaches 2 from the left, from the negative side of the graph. So how are we going to do this? We can't plug in 2 because that puts a 0 in the denominator. We don't have a graph to read this from. Uh, I suppose you could graph it, but that's a lot of work. One of the things you can do here is just try out a couple of values. Uh, and think about if you're approaching 2 from this direction, what's a value? here's 2, what's a value that's pretty close to 2? Well, let's say 1.9. So let's plug in 1.9 and see what we get. We would get 7 times 1.9, and that'd be pretty close to 14, and we'd get x minus 2. So 1.9 minus 2, that's going to be negative 0.1. So when you divide 14 by negative 0.1, we're going to get something like negative 140. That's a pretty big value. Let's try one more, a little bit closer. Let's, instead of 1.9, let's do 1.99. So 1.99 times 7. That's going to be even closer to 14, so I'm just going to call that 14. And down here, we'll get negative 0.01. In this case, we're going to have 14, sorry, negative 1400. So if you go 1.99, suddenly you're up at negative 1400. And what you can see, if you plug in more values here, if you need to do more to convince yourself, we could do 1.999, 1 1.99999, etc. These values just get bigger and bigger on the negative scale, so we're heading towards negative infinity. And that's the answer to that one. So that's a little bit of work with one-sided limits. My name is Larry. I'm a teacher at EdVisions Off Campus. It's an online project-based school in Minnesota. If you're interested, you can check us out on the web at lovethisschool.org. Thanks.